This tutorial video will demonstrate how to complete the process capability analysis example in Minitab using non-normal data. For detailed information on how to interpret the results, please refer to the Lean Six Sigma and Minitab pocket guide. The Minitab data file for this example is called capabilityqtimes.mpj. The worksheet in this file contains all of the data that will be used for this analysis. The data is contained within a single column and by scrolling down we can see that there are 100 data points in this sample of data. In order to complete the capability analysis, go to Stat, Quality Tools, Capability Analysis, Non-Normal. Firstly, ensure that the single column option is chosen because the data is arranged as a single column and then enter the column containing the data here, in this case column 1. Minitab requires specification limits in order to complete the process capability analysis. In this example there is no lower specification limit because the data represents process times and the faster the process is completed the better. So leave this box empty. The upper specification limit for this example is 5 and this is entered here. Minitab requires you to select the distribution that best fits your data. This decision can be made using Minitab's individual distribution identification function, but this is outside the scope of this video. For this example, leave the fit distribution at its default setting of Weibull. Minitab provides several useful options for capability metrics, but in this example we are leaving these option settings at their default levels using parts per million and capability stats. Click both OK boxes to complete the capability analysis. The output of the process capability analysis is contained within a Minitab graph window. The detailed interpretation of this graph and its accompanying statistics is explained in the pocket guide, but in summary, the central graph shows the histogram of the process data, with the specification limits and the selected distribution fitted to the data. The left-hand boxes summarize the key statistics of the process and provide observed parts per million rates. And the right-hand boxes provide overall capability statistics and expected parts per million rates. That completes this Minitab tutorial video for capability analysis using non-normal data.